Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is West Point Lake Willie. I'm here working on my boat for a little while before I actually go hit the local pond we have here. And I'm gonna tell you something, guys. Get my little black boat going. You'll see that in another video, I'm sure. I'm still here at my house, so you're gonna hear cars go by. However, about the beginning... of the year. Okay, here we go. Let's try it again. About the beginning of the year this year, I found a real $3.50. And I know that I've looked at them before and I wasn't really sure what they were. And they actually had them for good grief. 20 bucks, 30 bucks or whatever. And it's this guy right here. I don't know if you can see it here. Let's see, where's the eye of the camera? Right there. Take a look at that. You see that right there? I got it for three bucks. It was on the discount rack. I put it on a little Doc Demon pole. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take that little pole down to the lake to catch some brim and panfish. And then I'm gonna use those fish for bigger, maybe bass. I don't know if there's catfish, something. I'm just gonna use them, one on top and one on bottom. I'll probably still fly fish a little bit. Maybe I'll have, maybe be some video of that. And we'll see. I'm gonna record a little different. I'm gonna set up my tripod. I'm gonna set up my tripod and hope they record so that way you can see the full, that way you can see the full action and maybe even catch some pretty good footage. So, uh, like I said, I just wanted to do this video before I left. Um, I've still got a few hours here, and then I'm gonna go this evening. Um, we got rain for almost two weeks, so if I don't get my fishing in now, I'm not sure that I am. So hold on, guys, we'll be back with you real soon. All right, guys, we're down here at this private lake. I'm gonna do something I don't normally do. I'm gonna actually fish with some worms. Um, I like fishing with artificial for the challenge, but with what I wanna do today, I'm, I'm actually going to use this little guy right here. And all I've done is put a little small hook and a cork on it. Um, the problem is with this is it, it has no button release or anything like that. Basically, you let the drag out and it's actually meant for trolling or dropping straight down off a dock or off a short pier. Um, but I got to put six pound test on it and I just was going to catch and see what it is to be able to catch some some brim on it. Um, I don't know if you can see but the, for whatever reason the water's a little dirty today. Um, actually a, a lot dirty. I think the algae's dying and finally coming up to the top. That may help us, it may hurt us, I don't know. My goal at this point is to catch some smaller brim and then put them back out. There's a lot more. And to, and put them back out for bigger fish catfish bigger bass i'm going to put one on top water on a cork and then let them run around and i'm going to put one on bottom i believe so hang in there guys i'm going to get us all set up and ready look at there first Fish. I was wondering if this was going to be able to do it. I don't know if you can see it from here, but uh, while I was getting set up and trying to get in a worm on this right here, old buddy over there snagged a little largemouth bass. About a half pounder, maybe. That's awesome. First cast through this muck. Awesome. A little tiny, tiny hook. A little bit of worm. And the only way to throw this is. Not like a um, fly rod, but sort of like a fly. You let the, the, the drag, you gotta let the drag all the way out. So it just swirls out. So you tighten the drag back up. This reel gets a one to one. Some bass rods and stuff too because I was going to actually throw some shaky heads because you know me I still got to fish with everything I got so let me adjust the camera a little I actually may need to take my other rod over there closer to the, the spillway because um, it's in so much slime um, but before I do that Oh my god, look at how fast you reel that bad boy, god. This 
I think that's your fast, that's your fast this is gonna gear be, ratio rod you have. This is going to be so hard. <laughs> It's gonna be so fun Does it to catch even have a drag set on it? Yes, yes, it's got a drag. It actually has a drag system. I'm not sure how it works, but it's got a drag system. All right, guys, let's go. Cutting grass. That's why you hear it so loud. Plus, I got to get closer. So, sorry. not be the right place for this, but I finally got it out. I might be the absolute worst YouTuber ever. be continued guys. Alright guys, just in case uh, I didn't want to uh, waste time on tying, I'm going to take my little jig and I'm going to put some worm on it on my micro and I'm going to cast it right out there and see if I can get some bait. While I wait, this is a a saltwater fly, I guess, is, is what I got in when I went to Alabama. And um, I was going to fly fish that there, but the water was pretty choppy and pretty bad, so it's kind of hard to do. I didn't get to go to the flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to see if I can get a bass hit on my... I'm going to set this up and see what happens. I'm new to fly, fly fishing, so Not 
Yeah, that's what I was trying to do today. So, guys, my son is here laying the crappie. I think that's what, number six? Uh, I just, yeah, I have six and I just missed my seventh one. Spit it out. I'm going to put the camera on him for a minute while I work out picking out which fly I want to use. Well guys, I wasn't doing very good, so I went to my Walmart catch-all by dollar fifty lure. I've caught more fish on this hard bait lure than any single combined lure yet. It is amazing. And I just lost one right here at the bank. So let me see if I can give us another one. They want to pull up to get the next one. Lost your lure. Mm. You got one hooked up. Missy. As often as I uh, would love to be out in the boat, and he was taking and using these hard baits, doing the same thing, using that what what he called the yo-yo technique. And I just missed the one, by the way. Um, but uh, what he called a yo-yo technique, where you let it fall and it rattles, and they pick it up like it's a dying shad. And for whatever reason, this color right here is bad to the bone. It is bad to the bone. Fishermen ever. Ever. Alright guys, that's the end of this one. It's time to go have some supper. My son caught seven. Yep. Seven. I caught one and I caught it on that. Not that I didn't fish everything else, because I did. But that's what I caught it on. Anyway guys, this is West Point Lake Willie telling you keep your hooks wet and have fun. I'm out of here.